Hello, today I'm going to be explaining to you what a linear line is, how to interpret a linear equation, and in a way provide a brief introduction to how you can create an equation for a linear line. So the first thing that we really have to understand in the first place is what a linear line looks like, and how you can use the slope as well as the y-intercept to create an equation from a graph or a table. So when we refer to a linear line in math, what we really mean is that it is really just a straight line where both the x and y variables of the line have a specific relationship with each other, where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So for example, if I were to draw a graph where this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis, a straight line would intersect between both of these axes. So if you have a linear line, then the rate of change must be constant. So for example, if x is increased by a certain number, then y increases too by another constant. To create an equation for a certain linear line, we use the equation y equals mx plus b. When an equation is in this format, we say that it is in slope-intercept form, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept, which I will just abbreviate as y-int to shorten it. So that sounds a little bit wordy, so you can really just think of the m as how much it is moving by, and think of the b as the beginning number. So when x equals 0, what does y equal? Okay, that was a lot of information. So what I'm going to do now is show you an example of a linear line so you know what one looks like and how to interpret the linear equation given if any is provided. All right, here we have a graph and we are given that the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 4. Immediately, I see that the equation is in slope-intercept form. So I automatically know that I can refer to the equation y equals mx plus b to understand what the equation of the line actually means and really to understand what the numbers mean as well. So I can see that in the place of my m is 2. So m equals 2, which is my slope or in other words, my line is increasing by 2 each time. And then in the place of my b is 4. So b equals 4, which means that 4 is the y-intercept, or in other words, what my beginning number is. So I can tell that this information is correct, because if you look at the graph here, I can see that the line crosses the y-axis at 4 which means that 4 is my y-intercept, which I can put in the place of my b. In order to tell if the slope is correct, you will often see people using the rise over run method. Essentially, to use this method, you need to find two perfect points on a graph, see how many units you can run to the right or to the left, until you reach the position of that perfect point, and then see how many units you can increase or decrease by to finally get exactly into the spot where the perfect point is. So that may have sounded a little confusing, so I'll show you an example from this graph right here. All right, I'm going to pick these two perfect points, which is this one right here, and I'll also use the perfect point of the y-intercept. So you can really pick any two points, but make sure that they are perfect points. So I could have chosen this point right here and this point right here to also use this method, or this point and that point. But it is really easier to just pick points that are next to each other that are perfect. All right, this graph is a little bit confusing because the number line increases by two each time instead of one, but we can make it work. So by using these two perfect points, 
if I run to the right just by one unit, I can see that I've already reached the position where my perfect point is on the x-axis. And if I increase 1, I haven't reached the position of my perfect point just yet, so it will increase by another 1, and I have reached where my perfect point is, which is at 4. So really, I didn't just increase by 1 or run to the right by 1, I actually ran to the right by 2 because of the number line, and I increased by 4 because the number line increases by 2 for each unit. So for my rise, I will put that I rose by 4, and for my run, I'll put that I ran to the right by 2. So my slope is m equals 4 over 2. Great, I now have my slope, but I can simplify this number even further. So I can see that 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I know that my slope, m, is equal to 2. As you can see, that matches with the equation of the line that was given for what my slope was. Let's do one more graph together, and then I will provide you with a few examples to do on your own. Okay, so now we will do this example together. So I can see that it is given that the equation of my line is y equals 2x plus 1. I can see that it is in slope-intercept form, which means I can refer to the equation y equals mx plus b. I can see that in the place of my m is 2, so I know that m equals 2, or that my slope is 2, or in other words, my line is increasing by 2 each time. And I can see that in the place of my b is 1. So b equals 1, or that the y-intercept is 1, or in other words, that b is my beginning number. So when x equals 0, what does y equal? Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, to confirm that this equation is correct, we can see that, first of all, for b, which is 1 in this case, I can see that the equation of the line, or the line crosses the y-axis at 1 over here. So I know that my y-intercept is 1, which I can put in the place of my b. So that is correct. And for my slope, I can use the rise over run method. So I will use two perfect points. In this case, I will use this perfect point over here and my y-intercept as both of them. So rise over run will be used as a way to find what the slope is. So I can see if I run one to the right, I can see that it is in the position where my other perfect point is. So I know that I just have to run one right over. So I can put that in the place of my run. And if I increase by one, I can see that I still need to increase by one more to get to that perfect point. So I increased by two. So I can say then the place of my rise is 2. So I now know that m equals 2 over 1, which can be simplified further, which is m is equal to 2. So that is how I found my slope and how I found my y-intercept. So I know that y equals 2x plus 1 is the correct equation for this line. Now you know how to create an equation for a linear line. So now I will be providing you a few examples to solve in your own to find what the equation of the line is. I hope that this video helps and I'll see you in part two.